Hey guys, it's me, Talia Arisa Gibson. You can call me Tag for short, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Today, guys, as you can see, I have no food. Um, but I wanted to say something and I was kind of going back and forth on if I should say anything. But I wanted to say something because um, I just felt it on my heart to do so. So I want to start off by just saying this. Um, I don't call everyone a friend. I understand that in life we come across associates, co-workers, um, if you go to church, church members, um, business partners, and even fellow content creators like some of you. It doesn't mean that I have an issue with anybody um, just because I don't call you necessarily a friend. There are some content creators that I hold to a high regard, but I can't call them a friend because we don't talk like that. So it's hard to say like, oh, this is my friend. And you know, we don't really talk like that. So I have content creators that I am becoming friends with and who maybe in the future, some of you might become friends as well. And so I just wanted to say that. I also want to say this. I don't compare other YouTubers to other YouTubers. Everybody is unique and everybody has their own purpose. I also don't compare myself to anybody. There's no point in it. At the end of the day, I am who I am. You are who you are. They are who they are. The comparisons don't even matter. I'll say this again. We are all unique and we all have a purpose. And so it's more important that you tap into your own uniqueness and your own purpose and focus on that. Now, I do want to say this publicly. If I call you a friend, I don't take it lightly whatsoever. I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to be a listening ear for you. If you're feeling sad, I'm going to try to cheer you up, try to make you laugh. I'm going to have a good time with you. And most of all, if you make a mistake, I am not going to hold it over your head. I'm not going to dismiss you. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to help you find solutions and I'm gonna root and cheer for you when you take ownership of those mistakes. Because I know I've made mistakes. Guys, nobody is perfect. If you point to a perfect person, I'm gonna call you a fool. Nobody is perfect. I know I've made mistakes. I've been in circles that I should not have been in. I've talked about people that I should not have talked about and felt bad for it afterward. And sometimes felt bad for it during, cause you're like, what are you doing? You know, you shouldn't be getting caught up in this. Everybody has done something that you can look back on and say, I shouldn't have done that. But I'm telling you this, if I call you a friend, I'm not going to dismiss you because you made a mistake. It does not make you mean hearted. It does not make you evil. It doesn't mean you're not a good person. It means you're human and you made a mistake. Now, the only issue I would have is if you stayed in that mistake and didn't take any ownership for it then I would have an issue. But when you are taking ownership of it and you're saying, you know what? I should have known better. I should not have done that. I take ownership for this. I know that I shouldn't have done this. I can appreciate that and support that and stand behind that, but I'm not going to dismiss you. So I'm saying this, you matter. You have a place on YouTube. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep your whole goal in mind. The purpose of your channel keep it in mind and keep going forward with it because at the end of the day that's why we're all here for our channels our own channels and though we may collab and we may engage with others and in some situations become friends or family with each other then that's amazing and it won't happen with everybody i'm also saying in this video don't reach out to me if you want to uh, spread gossip or if you want to get me to um, pick a side. I'm on nobody's side. I'm on nobody's team. I'm not on anybody's side. If a friend makes a mistake, we're going to talk about it. I'm not going to say, oh, you didn't make a mistake. You don't do anything wrong because we're human. It happens. I'm going to hear you out and we're going to talk through it, solve it and move on and move on. But I'm not going to talk badly about anybody, um, 
nobody has done anything to me that I um, can really speak on. Now, I will say this. If somebody does something shady or um, backhanded toward me, um, we will have a conversation. And if that doesn't solve it, I'm not going to get on and blast you. Now, if somebody asks me honestly a question about you, then I'm probably going to be honest. And, and I would hope that it wouldn't be publicly, but sometimes it might be. And I can't take away anybody else's story. I can't say that didn't happen to you because it didn't happen to me. I can't say, oh, that can't be the truth just because it didn't happen to me. And I'm going to say this because, and this is a whole different scenario, but I'm saying this because um, I had a situation with um, my niece and it was a public situation that happened in my hometown where um, someone um, took advantage of her privacy. Um, and it was a court case and a big thing. And the biggest thing that really bothered me was that there were some um, young ladies who were saying, well, he didn't do that to me. Even though there was physical proof and the officers saw the physical proof and they they even said this person is guilty. You still had people who were, oh, that's not true. Crazy, 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 crazy. But I wanna say this, um, I just felt it on my heart to say something. I'm not against anybody. So if anybody thinks that I'm against them or they think, um, that I don't like you or any of that, you can always reach out to me and talk to me um, cause I'm not against anybody. Now I will do this. If I'm friends with somebody and I really consider that person to be a friend, I'm gonna remove myself from a situation where I have to defend my friend. So I'm gonna remove myself from circles and things like that where potentially people could start talking about my friend. Cause to me, that's just being a good friend. It doesn't mean I'm taking aside or saying that somebody didn't make a mistake or this or that it just means i'm doing what i need to do to protect my energy and to make sure that i'm not put in a situation where i have to be like stop talking about my friend <laughs> you know and so um, i would hope that any of you would be that way for your friends the people that you really call family or friends and so um, I just wanted to make that known publicly. And if anybody has any questions or anything like that, you can reach out to me. I'm turning the comments off because this is not about drama. This is not about anything like that. Um, if anybody chooses to take my video and snip it and cut it apart and share certain parts of it just to share it, that's on you. But um, I'm just letting you know that this was on my heart to share. And I'm really doing this for my friend. Um, we just gotta we just gotta do better and just understand that um not everybody has an issue sometimes we're just doing stuff to protect our brands and protect our own energy and um and at the end of the day i want your channels to grow if you're if you're at um 10 000 subscribers if you're at 100 subscribers if you're at however many two million subscribers grow like go you I think it's amazing. Like, I think it's so amazing that YouTube even exists where people can get those numbers up like that and make money and actually take control of their careers and run their own lives without having anyone to answer to. Like, when I see people um, up there with those numbers and they've been able to like leave jobs and just do um, YouTube and things like that, that's awesome. Um, but we don't have to do all this that's going on um as you're trying to get there um and communication goes a long way and ownership 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 we can't expect this person to take ownership and then this person doesn't take ownership but this person talks about this person not taking ownership but deep down this person's not taking ownership and then this person's doing this and then this person's doing that and it's blah 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 back and forth back and forth back and forth but it's too much it's too much but there's a place for each of you on youtube there's a space for each of you on youtube you can get 
however big you want to get on YouTube. If you put in the work and learn the algorithm, guys, YouTube will push people out to the forefront. Like I mentioned in one of my videos before, I didn't watch mukbangers when I first started YouTube. I was watching all music stuff. Somehow B Love's video showed up in my recommendations, which was pushed out by YouTube. I didn't follow any mukbangers. So you guys have to realize sometimes YouTube pushes people to the forefront while we're thinking um, one thing about them and we're trying to ask them, how did you get that many views? How did you get that many subscribers? We're trying to ask them all this and YouTube is doing it. Ask YouTube, <laughs> Check, find out the algorithm because it happens. Like there's a reason like sometimes someone will, there's been people who have started channels after me and blew up further than me. But there's been people who have been on YouTube five, six years and somebody has been on for less than a year and is already at like 100K subscribers. It happens. And so we gotta stop freaking out over this kind of stuff. Um, I don't like what's going on right now um, with everything, with lives being um, started and putting YouTubers in the lives and things like that. Um, I don't like that just because you guys aren't going back and doing your research and seeing full videos and seeing what people actually posted. You're only going by what a certain person is putting up and showing clips and audio of people. Um, and that's just not way, the way that anybody should run. I would also say, I always think about like high school. You know how there's those burn books that people used to say in high school and I never, I don't think, my high school ever had a burn book or anything that was going around who knows maybe but um if something's going around that has negative stuff in it and then i spread it to the next person and then i spread it to the next person and then i spread it to the next person i'm just as wrong as the person who first spread it because how are we trying to help people and we're spreading negativity i don't understand it i don't understand it um and that's when I'm like, mm, I'm gonna remove myself from situations and circles because I just don't like that. And so I'm letting you guys know, I don't have anything personal with anybody. I don't have any um, strife. I'm not rooting against anybody. I can say this publicly because I mean it. Um, and so I want everybody to be successful. Even the T channels, like I hate that um, sometimes they give false information and things like that. I, I wish they would give more accurate news and things like that because some of them are funny and some of them have great personalities but unfortunately some of the content affects people that just are trying to make content themselves and so i love you guys um I, i'm rooting for you and when i say i love you i'm, I'm talking about godly love like I'm, i love you as humans and i want you to do well um and so Let's get back to the fun. As always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post. Until next time, y'all. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe.